Hey, it's me, Marky Joe, here to entertain you. Yes, it is my show. It exists. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Yeah. Okay, so the next stage is the reason why this game is a 7 out of 10 rather than an 8 out of 10. Actually, you know what? 6 out of 10 rather than a 7. Okay. This is a, a door maze. Remember how the, uh, annoying those were oh, in Mario 3? Welcome to a whole stage where that's the entire freaking gimmick. So, let's just keep walking around aimlessly. All I know is that you want to go through the middle doors. And that's it. And walking pants. Somebody didn't do their laundry. Oh yeah, check this out. These fireballs are actually projectiles, and the where they're coming from is actually an enemy. Ooh. So if you knock it... Oh, wait. Okay, I think I'm remembering wrong. I thought that, like, there was actually an enemy there, technically, that they coded there. And if you deflect the bag, it would kill the enemy, and thus the source of the fireballs, but whatever. For some reason, from, like, round five to beyond, Burt becomes super powerful, and now can do this double shot that deals, like, a crazy amount of damage. I uh, don't know why they did that. And there we go. We're up to the uh, the, the boss of the stage. Wow. You got to go through that Which real one? Well, oh, I guess we'll find out, won't we? There's four faces here. Only one of them is real. And he dies in oh. five fucking seconds. Dude. It's a bird. <laughs> it's a bird? No, it's a bird. Oh, to bird. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. anyway, now I need to look for a bottom right door. Because that takes me to the ending of the stage. That's basically all you need to do for this stage, is just remember, oh, middle and then right. Middle for the key, right for the exit. And that's it. There you go. So now there's a table and chair. Yeah. They weren't really very um, original. You know, what were they looking around the room saying, we need some more monsters. How about a table? All right. Well, I think the monsters, I, uh, monster ideas are pretty imaginative. I just think that the level design is not... That's that's just the problem. It's a table that attacks you. I mean, have you seen any other game have a table that attacks you? Not that I recall. Also, no. I think my theory is not working. Yeah. And you have to fight these tables every fucking time now because just I'm low in health. Remember, I want die. you to play Punch Out. <laughs> just remember that. You. Yeah. You. What? Just you. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so when we was left, not right, uh, I was wrong the whole time, <laughs> reading that fucking walkthrough being like, okay, so middle for the key, right for the th for the exit. Oh, but I was wrong. And now I wasted everybody's fucking time with that stupid piece of shit stage. God, this football man, you'd think he'd know how to deal with a guy with a bat. And is that an elephant? Yes, it is an elephant. And that looks like Mr. Oogie Boogie from... From Nightmare Before yeah. Christmas. Yeah, I'm just gonna run up. Cause this is pointless. I'm not gonna lie, it's kinda creepy. And now for and... Royce, the best character in the game. Really? Why? Because his name's Royce. He's the only enemy in the entire game polite enough to tell you his name. Oh my god. This is the worst though, like the fact that he stops abruptly and he goes super fast and you have to just time it really well. And sometimes he just stops on you, so you take damage anyway. Oh my god. Please. Oh. Okay, good. We're done. Fuck that guy. Yeah. Holy shit. When did he tell you his name was Royce? I didn't see that. Yeah, that, that was his battle quote for, like, right before you fight him. Okay, good. Would have been nice if I had that before I fought Well, maybe Royce. if you didn't avoid them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm mom, I'm smart. Well, guess what? I have an associate's degree yeah. in liberal arts. I'm very proud of you. Oh, come again. This one's interesting. Come again, and then... Wait. You leave and then go back, and they're like, no. I think there's a way to, like... Maybe you have to walk further into the room? No, I guess not. 
I remember one of these doors being like, come again, and then when you re-enter it, you get a, uh, you get a prize, but... Oh. I must be thinking of something else entirely. Maybe not, because why would it tell you to come again? And oh. there's our hell line. And uh, just in time for me to die. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yep, yeah. dead. Oh my god. So you don't have to start this all over, do you? I might. Oh, not really. Well, it's the beginning of the stage, so... Yeah, Sexy race to transition. transition. Okay, we're back. All right, let's screw this guy up big time. And five hits, six, seven. Wow, seven hits. That's how much hits it takes with Bert. That's like really pathetic. How much would it have taken with the other dude, Mark? <laughs> I was like, how can I forget his name? With Mark, <laughs> uh, I think probably way the fuck more. Well, it probably would. It definitely wouldn't have been as easy because you have to get close up to him. Yeah. Though, there are some bosses that are easier with Mark than uh, with Bert. Oh, this is the door oh, that's, like, come yeah, again. Yeah, okay. Or not. Didn't you already get something from there, or there was that another door? You know, you, it you might move be so be, fast, I can't keep track. It might be because I entered the other door Yeah. that said come again, that it's like, oh, well, you did that already, so now we don't have to worry about it. Now, here's the thing. After you defeat death, you get a key. That's only two bosses, but if you fight another boss in this stage, the spider, uh, after getting the key, you lose the key, and then the level becomes unbeatable for whatever the fucking reason. So it's better to just head to the end of the stage afterward. It's really weird. Alternatively, you can beat the spider and then go back to death. To um, That way you'll have beaten all three bosses. But why the fuck would you do that when you could just beat the game? Okay, the, so why? There's got to be a reason. Oh, is that like uh, Savage no Quest, it's just where dumb. you go into the church and get health? No. No. This church makes you lose health because oh. it is the most bullshit boss in the fucking game. So I'm gonna need Burke for this because this boss is impossible to fucking dodge with Mark. So we're just gonna cheese him with uh, good old Bert. Oh, cool! Yeah, it's all magical and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, time to lose Witchy health. Witchy poo or whatever. Die here for a while. Oh, uh, that's not any church I've been to. Yeah, exactly. Oh. No. Oh my God, this guy is. Holy so crap! Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. He's bullshit. Dude. And he's dead. No, oh, what now, bitch? This is why you need Bert, because it would take way more hits with Mark, and on top of that, you'd be getting hit constantly. Oh, okay, and so there's candles coming at you, because, you know, that's what candles do. Oh, they're dynamites. Oh. <laughs> Somehow that's better. I don't feel as, you know, betrayed. Hold on. I, I actually want to show something off here. Uh, but unfortunately, Bert decided to get another drug, and now I'm stuck as him some more. Uh -huh. We'll get over. All right, well, I'll save it for later. Anyway, let's go into this place. Face, Face my, my wrath. wrath. Oh, jinx knock on wood. If you crouch, you can actually sh uh, fire these a lot faster and then just destroy them super fast. Those eyes in the background look like a, like a Mardi Gras mask or something. They, they don't look pleasant, that's for certain. Yeah. What's the beeping? That means you're coming to the end of Bert? Yeah, you're coming to the end of Bert. Okay. okay. So, want to see me destroy an entire galaxy? Oh, uh, sure, sure. Done. Oh, dude. <laughs> wow. Oh, that always cracks it's me up. It's like when they fired on Alderaan in Star Wars. And only Mark can do that, by the way. Bert, the, those those things have like infinite HP. But deflected projectiles are instant death for any enemy that gets hit by them. That, wow. Like if they're not a boss. No, there's some pagoda here. Oh boy, Mark Sue. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm wow. Bert. Also, wow. If you crouch, this boss can't hurt you. Interesting. Uh. All right, so now let's go fight the final boss of the game. You're no, you're kidding. I uh, I am not kidding. That that was the whole friggin'. That was the whole game. That's the whole game. All right, so hopefully, actually, the final boss is better to fight with uh, using Mark. Because oh, you what can deflect odds? his projectiles, which are really hard to dodge with Bird. Interesting. Yeah. You never have to get the witch, huh? Yeah, the, the witch is just there for scenery, you know. Uh, boop. 
That's a big dipper. Uh -huh. Well, there goes the Milky Way. <laughs> that was a big dipper. <laughs> oh, okay. I can deflect those. Nice. Cool. Ugh, jeez. The witches you. are like really hard to kill because they leave so quickly. Um, yeah, I would think they're hard to catch. So I believe if I head all head somewhere around here, there's a like a. <laughs> you jumped over her. <laughs> whatever. I believe there's a way to get an easy burp power up near the final boss room, but whatever. Here's the final boss. He's a face. You beat everybody. Oh, I remember this. Beat me, and you can leave. I gotta love how his right eye is the one speaking. <laughs> Come and die. Oh fuck. So yeah, basically this final boss oh. is basically the ultimate jump rope rope test. Oh. Yeah, they had to pick something creepy, so they just picked eyeballs to throw at so, you. So, okay. Yeah, so, so it has to be you, open. Yeah, it has to be open. Okay. I don't understand why, but anyway. That's just gameplay one on one. Yeah, everything. If you want it to be creepy on the regular Nintendo, it has to be an eye or a nose that's opening up. Yep, you always gotta hit him. <laughs> you gotta hit him right in the fucking or eye. Or mouth. Yeah, so it's basically a glorified jump rope. Oh, game. now they're gonna be jerks again? Okay. Whoop. Whoop. Wow. <laughs> this is kind of fun, though. <laughs> I, I like this. And he's done. Wow. Uh, what did that take? 20 minutes? I need some more. To review my F.E. hat He needs to be Someone who won't cut me slack It's Monkey Joe He's arrived from his golden chariot And down he walks 